Hi everyone, in this video we'll be using distinct function from dplyr to uh, remove the duplicates in our data sets. Sometimes we get data sets which have duplicated rows in them and we would ideally not want those rows to be present in the data set to process further. To, to do that, the distinct function comes into our help and this video is all about how to use the distinct function to remove the duplicated rows. With that, let's get to it. As always, we clear the environment with rm is equal to ls and control plus l for to clear the console. Now that the console is clean and an environment is empty, we can start doing our processes. So to do that, we'll first load the dplyr package. Then we'll uh, use a new data frame for this. This will be the empty cast data set, which is inbuilt in R. You don't need to download anything for it. I'll just do some pre-processing steps so that you get a data set with some duplicated rows in them to show how the distinct functions will solve this data set in the first place. If you want to deep dive into the row names to column function, please look forward to the uh, video on the top right. Uh, it explains this function as to why we need this function and how we can use this function uh, to our benefit. With that, I'll run this chunk. And now you see I have two data sets, DF and DF duplicated created. So if you look at DF duplicated, I have 30 observations and this has a lot of duplicates. So like if you see that's in 710, that's in 710, there are so many duplicates in this data set. If I want to remove these rows, what should I do, right? This is where the distinct function comes into play. So how to use it? So for the distinct function, the syntax is pretty simple. You use distinct brackets open. And there's a command of dot keep all is equal to true. So whenever you run keep underscore all is equal to true, all the duplicated rows get removed and all the non-duplicated removes are kept in the data set, right? So if I run this command, you see there's a new data set created of df dduped plier. And in this, I have only 10 observations which are not duplicated at all. These are all unique observations from the data set df underscore dupe that we showed you earlier so use distinct dot keep all is equal to true what this does is it keeps all the non-duplicated rows in the data set this is how you do it in dplyr what if you are curious and you want to know i don't want to use dplyr i just want to use base r function right I won't recommend that, but still, if you want to use it, there is a function which you can just, you know, uh, open the data set dfdu and do a not duplicated function. So it will do not duplicated dfdu. That means the rows which are not duplicated retain those in the data set of df underscore du. So uh, before the comma, it's rows. After the comma, it's columns. Since we are not specifying anything in the columns, that means all the columns, right? So this is how you, do, you would do in base R and I'll just show it to you that there's no difference at all. So if I show the base R data set created, it's exactly the same as DF dedupe dplyr, right? So my recommendation is use distinct because since you are becoming a dplyr power user, you want to make sure you use dplyr in most of your processing steps and it's very widely accepted package as well. So use the distinct function. In that distinct function, use dot keep underscore all command to make sure that you uh, make it true so that you keep all the deduped rows in your data set. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.